yes, you get to see all the craziness in my room. <laughs> How's everyone? My name is Kara Allen. I am a wardrobe stylist. I create stylish citizens worldwide by styling from the inside out. Hi, Maurice. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Hey, Mimi. Hey, Jorge. Thanks for the invitations. Thanks for the hearts. Love it. Hey, Adrena. <laughs> How's everybody doing this Sunday afternoon? I've been in the house literally all day, just working, working, working. Hey, Mimi. Everybody follow Nanny Malloy. She does fantastic bath salts, bath scrubs. Oh my gosh. Hey, Vanessa. Great. Well, I just wanted to share some books that I've been reading and have already read. Hello, Sashim. Hey, Sergio. Hey, Stafford. How's everybody doing? <laughs> I love this. It's just so cool. Um, I wanted to share today some books that I think will really help you revolutionize your business and your personal life. I'm like the self-help queen, okay? I literally spent... Uh, hey, what's up, Stafford? I literally spent a year in the library and I read like 1,200 books. It was crazy. Yes, that's my girl over there. <laughs> Getting ready to get your hair cut. Cool. Um, so, yes, I've read quite a few books. It's been a journey with that. So, anyway, I want to get started so I don't uh, just, uh, you know, let's crack on, as Mark Shaw says. <laughs> I don't want to spend too much time just run, running around and talking. Anyway, my first book I think you guys should read is Thrive by Ariana Huffington. It's a really good book about uh, redefining, it's, this is her tagline, redefining success and creating a life of well-being, wisdom, and wonder. It's really good. Hey, okay. Hey, Kurt. So this will be one of my definite recommendations. And she's very responsive. You can follow her on Instagram and chat her up, and she responds to people. I think it's so cool. Thanks so much for the hearts and the shares, guys. I love it. I appreciate it. Okay, then my next book I would like to share with you, hey Kurt, is The 4-Hour Workweek. So if you're an entrepreneur, this is what you aspire to. Shaleen Johnson talks about this, and I've heard several other ones. <laughs> yeah, Maxwell is the man. <laughs> Him and Prince are my two favorite artists. Like, I love all music, and I love a lot of artists, but... If I had to be on an island and replay and stuck with replay, it would be Prince and Maxwell, for sure. So yeah, the four hour work week. Escape the nine to five, live anywhere and join the new rich. Hey Steph, yeah, Prince is the man. He was just on right before, um, <laughs> before Maxwell. It's on shuffle, so he might come up again. But yeah, this is my number two book I think you should read. And all of these you can find on Amazon. I'll show you. I have them on my webpage, kara.allen.welove. Slash, sorry, kara.allen. I can't even say it. Never mind. Well, I'll show you later. <laughs> um, this one is really cool. The Game of Life for Women and How to Play It. It's really good. Um, it's really short. You could read this in a day probably. Thanks, Steph. It's, um, it is just really a, a really good book. It just gives you some really practical tips about and it's spiritual yes Adrena you so you know what I'm talking about it's kind of a spiritual practical business book if that makes sense this is by Florence Scovel Shin love her okay my next book overcoming under earning by Barbara Stani a five-step plan to a richer life I've met Barbara she's a really good person I read the first book she had was Prince Charming's Not Coming, <laughs> uh, you know, for women to get their stuff together, and also The Secrets of Six Figure Women. So this is, I am, <laughs> this is the third book of hers I've read, and I've also read Sacred Success. So fabulous. I literally booked my biggest client maybe 10 pages into this book, really. And this happened like two months ago when I started reading the book. It's fantastic. Thanks so much for the hearts. <laughs> okay. My next one is The Outliers by Malcolm Gladwell. I don't know if anybody's heard of Malcolm. I'm sure you have. He's fantastic. I've met him as well. He was at a Bank of America business kind of summit thing. He's so cool. He's like the most eccentric little dude, but he's just a cool guy. <laughs> and I've read most of his books, David and Goliath, Bliss, um, 
what's the other one? The Tipping Point. Yeah. So, yeah, he's really good. Love it. Yes, it is. So those of you who know, he's the bomb. And he's really cool in person. He's just a little eccentric. <laughs> so, okay. My next book is for my ladies. Mama Gina's School of the Womanly Arts. I attended her mastery course this week. I mean, this year. And it was life changing. Okay? <laughs> life changing. It was the most amazing thing. I met the most amazing people. And you want to start with her book. Um, before you kind of jump into the class and I just have to say the class is not for everybody But it will change your life for sure if you read it if you check if you check into it ah, <laughs> I know were you in it Sydney? Um, captivating by um, Stace John and Stacy Eldridge is another one that I love and there's another one that he wrote too. This one's about why woman was created in God's plan is amazing it's amazing okay amazing okay now the other ones I have I'll show you on my I didn't get out of my feathery bed there on my website because people borrow them <laughs> so the first one here the 10x rule yes fantastic my son just busted in the door I don't I don't know what he's doing <laughs> What is going on? Anyways, so the 10X Rule, great book. And if you're not following him here on uh, Periscope, you need to. And Twitter and wherever he is. Him and his wife, they make a great team. Just fantastic. You'll really love this book. It's amazing. Another life-changing thing. Uh, let's see. Then we have The Four Agreements. Sorry, is it too loud? There we go. Better? Um, the... Yes, The Four Agreements, A Practical Guide to Personal Freedom. It's really good. This is so amazing. I know I said it, everything is amazing, but <laughs> this one really is. I love it. I'm getting the five, the fifth agreement next because, um, yeah, it's just really good. I loved it so much. Um, oh, The Aladdin Factor. I actually do have this one here by, hey, Victoria, what's up? Um... The Aladdin Factor by Mark Victor Hansen and Jack Canfield. Really good. Just really good. Talks about how to... I'm great. How are you? Hadn't seen you for a second. I was going to do the closet thing, but I'm going to do it this week, so don't hate me. <laughs> um, I know. It's kind of ridiculous. But then it's like, well, what do you do with all that? You got to do something with it. Hey, Tracy. Thanks for coming in. Um, let's see what else. Oh, and Wild, of, Wild at Heart, which is the other one by uh, John Eldridge that I was talking about. This is the man's, yes, application, Maurice. This is the man's, why the men were created in God's plan. Great. Hey, how you doing? We're just talking about some books here. And I think that was it. That was my top ten for this week. I have like a gazillion books, as you can see. <laughs> I'm like a voracious reader, for sure. Matt, what's up? Yeah, I even have books on top of the bookcase. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, Amazon is the bomb.com. And more books over here. <laughs> yeah. If you can, you know, <laughs> I have to read the book. I have to have the book. I like to be able to hold it in my hand and, you know, play with the pages and do scribbles and all that kind of stuff. So if you just joined us, um, I wanted to share with you these books because I think they're really helpful for your life and your business. Um, so I'll flip through them really. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> um, Thrive, Ariana Huffington, a must have. The Outliers. Thank you, Tracy. I love yours, too. Malcolm Gladwell, The Story of Success. It really is amazing. The Game of Life for Women and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shin. The 4-Hour Workweek. Who's this by again? Timothy Ferris. Great business book. Shalene recommended this one as well. Overcoming under earning and this one thanks Sydney I yeah and this one I'm telling you it was like 
It doesn't mean you could be making half a million dollars and you're still under earning. It, it has nothing to do with how much you're making. It's basically about how much you're worth. So you need to be earning what you're earth, what you're worth, what what's your earth. Okay. What's your worth? <laughs> that makes sense. Uh, Mama Gina, School of Womanly Arts. Get some pleasure in your life, ladies. Get some pleasure. <laughs> um, and captivating. Find out the meaning of your life. And while you're here, yes, Victoria, it is for real. Um, and then I talked about the heart. <laughs> I know. Um, the Aladdin factor. <laughs> and I don't mean pleasure in the funky way, Victoria. Don't get get your mind out the gutter, girl. Get your mind out the gutter. And 10x rule. Grand Cardone. And the four agreements. So these are my book recommendations for the week. At least get one or two of them if you don't have them already. <laughs> Write stuff. You have a baby. What does that have to do with anything? I have three, okay? Hello. For yourself. They're the ones that'll suffer for that because you'll be all burnt out and tired and whatever, you know? <laughs> well, hey, that is that is a form of pleasure, sleeping, yes. <laughs> oh, God, Maurice. Naughty, naughty. Shouldn't say those things. So do you guys have any other books that you would recommend that anybody could read? <laughs> Y'all are too much. Anything else? Any other recommendations that you could uh, throw up? Maurice is a naughty boy. <laughs> um, please share so we can all join in on that. And you know, I'm right here on my computer. I will jump up and put them in my in my wish list very quickly. <laughs> you have some. Hey, share, Victoria. Girl boss, yes, I have that one. It is good. It is good, Tracy. Raving fans. What's that one about? Oh, let me look that one up. Raving fans. Ked Blanchard, a revolutionary, bleh, revolutionary approach to, I can't even talk, <laughs> Reven, revolutionary approach to customer service. And if you want to list, see into the list of these books, you can go on my website. It's uh, karaallen.com forward slash we love dot htm. Creating customer. Yes, tag tribes. What's up, Michelle? I saw you on a couple scopes earlier. We're, we're fellow sister students. Outwitting the devil. Hmm, I hadn't heard of that one. And I've read a couple of, uh, uh, what's his name's Napoleon Hill's books. Outwitting the devil. Hmm. Sounds interesting. Freedom. Ex I have to get that one. That one's going in my wish list. Hey. If you're just joining us, everybody, I'm Kara Allen. I am a wardrobe stylist. I create stylish citizens worldwide by styling your life from the inside out. You can follow me or share or do whatever you like. I appreciate all of the above. <laughs> or just give me some hearts if you feel like that, too. Uh, we're talking today about good books to share. Yes, you have to scope with me. We're going to do some stuff. Um, yeah, so we're talking today about... Yay, Aaron! Thank you for joining Tag Tribe. So, if any, does anybody know what Tag Tribe? If you don't know what Tag Tribes are, can you raise your hand so we can tell you so you can join the community? And Perry Girls too. If there's any Perry Girls in the house, science of getting rich. Oh, you like me? You love reading. <laughs> it's so cool. Getting rich. Okay, Tracy, and you, Sydney, you don't know. And Perry Girl. Okay. So, Tag Tribes is a community that is popped up on Periscope that was started by Mark Shaw. So, you go to tagtribes.media to sign up. Somebody can throw that up for me. That'd be fantastic, my peeps. And then you put hashtag Tag Tribes on your Periscope and Twitter profile. And then when you're doing your scope, you put hashtag Tag Tribes in your scope title so that people who are in the community can sign up, can log on and give you yay thanks guys can give you um support so it's basically a support community so we follow each other we go into each other's scopes we give love we give support we give pointers and tips and all those things and it's the same with perry girls too so perry girls you go to ptc.perrygirls.com <laughs> i have like five bookshelves it's insane 
yeah i mean i don't know and and a lot of books i i did this is this shelf over here then this one that you can hardly see because it's covered up in my file cabinet plus everything that's on the top and then in my living room there's some more books over here too and you can't really see it's dark but yeah <laughs> in my messy little room but yeah so i just want and share those with you today i hope everybody's having a great day um, if I had to give you my top two, hmm, it's hard. I couldn't even say power of being a woman. Yeah. I have to check that one out too. Sydney, where are you? Um, are you, can everybody say where they're from? Hey, Jenna, can I, Jenna V8, Jenna Vasquez. Okay. Can everybody tell me where you're from and how long you've been on Periscope and what you're scoping about Detroit, Chicago. Woohoo. My son's a Looney Tune. Sorry, my light is reflecting me in your face in the back. Yes, I know where you're from. Bronx in the house. ATL. Cool. We have such a wide range of people. I just love that. I, When I got on Periscope and I really started using it for good, <laughs> instead of just scoping you know, crazy stuff. Um, oh, Lord. Yeah, tomorrow. Boston is going about health and happiness. Yay! Hey, Marissa! Miami! Woo! I'm coming to see you next month and November, N Miami. Marissa, how are you? And what are you scoping about? Hey, Matt, what's going on? Hey, you're supposed to be helping us out here. Oh, hey, Vanessa, did you fall out? <laughs> oh, and you know one thing that we did find out about that was officially verified? You know how, like, you go in and you give people thousands? Marissa! going to Walmart, uh, life hacks, inspiration, personal concierge. Cool. I like that. Yeah. I mean, and plus all the crazy trolls, <laughs> you gotta do a block party. Okay. I'll won't stay on too long, Victoria, so I can get on and watch yours. Um, oh yeah. What was I gonna say about the heart? So only <laughs> right, Matt, gotta have a block party. I was on Africa. What is her name? Africa Miranda scope earlier. Art and biz and creative life. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, right. Open boobs. Um, and three people on there. One was like, can I have sex with you? One was, I'm like, what is wrong with people? <laughs> Just retarded. Uh, you have nothing to do all day long? I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't think I want to understand. <laughs> okay. First of all, because that's just too much. Yeah, it was just crazy. And one guy, she gave him a chance that so he left on his own. <laughs> he didn't have to get sent to the blog party, the community blog party. So it was just crazy. But anyways, um, I know. It's like, <laughs> and you can't let that stop you from scoping because it's just like haters in general and in life and whatever. Oh, the likes. So yeah, sorry. Squirrel, you know. <laughs> you only, the first one, okay. The first 500 hearts only count in a scope. So if you want to give somebody more, oh, you got three days. Yeah, I know, right? You you only um, the, only the first 500 count. So you have to go out and come back in to get more. So it looks like you're giving like thousands of hearts, but really only the first 500 actually count. Even on a replay too. So I'm in Virginia. It's Marisa, right? Yeah, I'm in Virginia. Yeah, I know, Matt. All those times y'all spent, like, knocking uh, your th their thumbs out to give me hearts <laughs> and only the first 500 counts. <laughs> That's so bad. So that made sense why they weren't counting. It's weird. So, um... <laughs> I know, right? Only the first 500 count. Um, Steph, was it Steph that said she was in Miami? So I might be going to Social Media Week in Miami next month. Marisa. I like that. Marisa. Oh, thanks, Steph. Okay. So, <laughs> I know that's what happens because you can't, you can only do five. Right. It is. It's 500. Oh, you're in your, okay. Um, so, yeah. And I'm going to Periscope Summit in New York. Who, anybody going to Periscope Summit in New York? It's uh, September 22nd through the 24th. Yes, follow Vanessa. She's great, too. She's one of my other girls. Um, what was I saying? Oh, and then I'll be in Miami in November as well. November 12th through the 15th. For Mama Gina. 
Yes! You want to go? Yeah, just go. Just go. I'm only going Tuesday to Wednesday. I'm not going for the whole time, but... Oh, really? That's weird. I think it will be because you're going to be able to meet a lot of the big wigs on here. I will definitely do that. Are you following me? Uh, and if not, I'll follow you back. And are you on Twitter? So I'm on Twitter and Instagram and Periscope and Facebook and everywhere at Kara Allen. So K-A-R-A-A-L-L-A-N. So follow me there too. Because the weird thing, well, not weird, but the thing about Periscope, you can't communicate with somebody unless they're on. I don't know if they're eventually going to allow you to send DMs or something to people, but it's like, how do you... <laughs> okay, Steffi Cruz. You can't, I can't DM you. I can follow you, but I can't, and I have to make it only if you had your email or your website in your handle on Periscope, would I be able to find you unless I just went and looked for you on Twitter? Mrs. Steppy, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, exactly. I think it is a great time because a lot of people still don't know about Periscope. I've been asking my friends about it, and they're like, yay, see you in Miami, crew, uh, Steph, sorry. Um, is it? Yeah, I just emailed them, but I never got a response back. <laughs> and they said they don't have a lot of people, and they probably have lots of issues, so whatever. But, um, I forgot what I was saying again. It's so bad. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so, <laughs> it's like, because, you know, it's like, watch, you're multitasking when you're doing this, and you're talking, and you're trying to think at the same time, so it's a lot. It's a lot going on. So, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I just wanted to jump on and share that with you guys. I, this week I'm going to be doing... I know! <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, yeah, talking about Periscope. So, yeah, Kim Garst is going to be there, Grant Cardone, Shalene Johnson, uh, Mark Shaw. I think all of those people are going to be there, and it's a great time. Yeah, I mean, because... I don't know. For whatever reason, they don't know. I found out about it at the end of May. One of my friends told me about it because he's into social media, too. And when I first started jumping on, I was just playing with it. And you didn't even know how to turn the TV, or, I mean the TV, the phone around to yourself. So I was, like, turning the phone when I wanted to scope up myself. And then when they started doing the updates, then they, you know, showed you double tap or whatever. Um, but I didn't actually start really using it seriously and following people until last month and maybe mid last month uh real talk kim was one of the first people i was following because she was connected to me on twitter <laughs> hey matt and uh dr walter sims was another one so then when i started going in a lot of these other scopes and just randomly following people that's when i started hearing about all the really cool people to to watch and i've learned so much in literally like the last two weeks yeah it's kind of crazy I think people are scared. They don't really feel comfortable doing it. You know, all of that. Hey, Kim and P3. Um, so, it's it's a wide open market. This is going to blow open how people do business, how people communicate, how people interact with each other. I mean, it's a crazy, ridiculous tool. Because I liked YouTube, but who has time to sit there and put up stupid things and videos and edit them and ah, you know? I just like to talk. It's like the best thing for me. It's like they finally figured out, hey, here's a great tool for Kara. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't, I think they know how to use it. I think that's just dumb people. I don't know. Because why else would you be talking to somebody and say open boobs or can I have sex with you or some other crazy nonsense? Like, why would you do that? You obviously have problems. Because <laughs> I don't know. That is not what I wanted to do when I'm talking to somebody. So, <laughs> Cuckoo for Cocoa Bus, anyway. So, yeah. And I'll probably do another scope this week on some more stuff that I've learned, like the 500 hearts. Yeah, it's the best thing because... And it's cool because you actually get to interact with people and they're interacting with you and they get to see your personality and you get to see theirs when they scope. So, you know, it's like having your own little live reality TV show. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it's like all the people who are blown up on a lot of those other ones that are the static ones, I don't know how they're going to really do so much on Periscope. You know? They do. I, that's what I feel. I watched Kevin Hart this morning. It was so funny because, you know, you hear the little tweet tweet and I saw it and it was like, 
Kevin Hart is live. I was like, ah! And I tried to jump in as fast as I could. I still couldn't get in. It was like 4,000 people on there. I was like, dang. <laughs> and I went back out and went back in like 10 times. I, I think Blab is so crazy because it's like squirrel on on fleek. I mean, literally. Like, how do you know who to watch and what to go on? Like, it's too, to me, it's like too much going on. And I don't know if... What, yes, Kevin Hart is on Periscope. <laughs> and so is Oprah apparently um and bethany but i don't think she's really done anything bethany frankel uh, a lot of people are I, even kim kardashian's on there too but she hasn't done anything and it's like please don't anybody tell her because <laughs> we don't need to see that we already see enough of her you blabbed oh about tedx cool yeah oprah too yeah exactly exactly yeah <laughs> That's <laughs> what I'm saying, you know? It's like, it's enough that they're on TV. At least you can control that. I mean, yeah, you can control who you watch on Periscope, too, but it's just enough. It's overexposure. There was a guy on Facebook, I don't know if you saw it, Vanessa, the other day. I know. <laughs> I think that, overwhelmingly, a lot of people are starting to feel like that. It's just crazy. So, this guy, he was on, I think, Orlando Channel 4 or something like that, and there was a story about... Kendall or Kylie, one of them, about their, they got a rabbit and they named it Bruce. She named it Bruce. And the guy that was sitting there with the girl reporting about it literally was like, I'm going to leave you now because I don't want to report anymore about these Kardashians. <laughs> he like got up and walked off camera and then he was like fussing from the background like, it's ridiculous. This is the news. Ah! You know, and it was so funny. There was like 16,000 people that commented under the same saying the same thing that they were just over it it's like this is not news it was so funny <laughs> i was dying laughing i was just like he only said what people were thinking you know what i mean like come on now enough is enough uh, really if it was actually something productive and you know whatever whatever enough i don't even want to give it any more energy but anywho <laughs> Woos. um so that was my top 10 list for the books. If you didn't see it, yeah. <laughs> Yay! Yes, no problem. I love giving people props and giving people, um, oh, thanks. Yeah, these are my, I love these lights. I got them from West Elm. So this one is the swirl and the other one whoo, is the diamond. And they look really cool at night because, you know, when it's a little darker, the reflections show up. It's, I love it. It's just, it's a nice little romantic light. It's just enough. Cause I read in, in the bed a lot. And so it's, it's right down on my head. So I love it. <laughs> so when I do some, um, updates to my place in a few weeks, yeah, it does set a nice mood. Um, I'll probably scope about that too, but I'm going to scope this week about organizing your closet. Cause you know, I'm a stylist and my closet looks like a wreck right now because I haven't done anything with it for summer i usually try to do something at the beginning of each season so spring summer fall winter i go in there and just <laughs> literally have to wipe it out and i'm developing a little freemium for that so uh hopefully maybe tuesday or thursday i'm not sure which maybe thursday because uh actually on tuesday i'll be scoping because i'm styling some of my favorite ladies for an event that we're doing at the end of the month yes I actually have Marie Kondo's book too. Woohoo! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so a freemium is something that when people you give people that has value, like your top ten books or your top ten organization tips or something like that, that you send them once they sign up for your email list. It's freemium. Yeah. I learned that from Shalene Johnson too. <laughs> she's great you gotta watch her she does some she talks about last night she was scoping about her setup how she has the diva light and how she has the stand and how all that how she starts her scope so it starts on her face and not like at the random part, place on the wall or like you saw my my uh clothes laundry pile over here <laughs> it's so funny so yeah she's really cool and seems like a really just nice person so and I did a scope too about the top 10 people to follow yeah, you should do it. Do it. Have you been scoping? I have to check out your scopes and see what you've what you've been talking about. Um, 
What else? And I'm going to do something about jewelry organization, too, because, you know, we just, it's like your closet. You accumulate so much crap. That's great. You got to be consistent. But don't, but like Shalene says, you got to have a plan, too. Don't just kind of get on and scope about, <laughs> you know, the car driving down your road, unless that's what you care about and, you know, you're not trying to do anything business-wise, I guess. Um, I might even do some of my top ten movies, too. Because I'm a movie buff and I'm a movie, music, and book buff and style as well. Work smarter than I have. Yeah, that's great. I'm all about it. All about it. I'm right here with you. <laughs> all about it for sure. And Africa Miranda has some really cool tips. I watched her this morning too. Ebong is good. You saw Straight Out of Compton? How was it? I saw somebody on Facebook talking about how, yes about how um, <laughs> they were talking about safety concerns or some crap with um, people. And it's like, somebody was like, newsflash, we're not the people shooting at movie theaters. <laughs> or something stupid, I don't know. Hey, PJ, what's going on, girl? It was funny, I was watching her scope the other day, and there was a troll that jumped on there, and I jumped and blocked the, the troll, and then she tried to block the troll, and she blocked me instead. <laughs> It was so funny. I was like, uh, what happened? And she was like, oh my god. She tweeted me. She's like, I was trying to block this girl, the troll, and I blocked you instead. <laughs> it was so funny. I know it was bound to happen because the your thing is moving so fast that sometimes you, even when I'm trying to comment to people, sometimes I click on the wrong person just to comment. And it's like, whoop, the wrong person. And you have to click off and do it again. Yeah, the Batman. And what was the other one? Uh, starts with a one word title train wreck I think train wreck was the other one that people just got shot up at and one of my friends on Facebook her niece was one of the people killed yeah it was train wreck I forgot where it was but the movie was train wreck it's so crazy like people are mental so anyways <laughs> it's whatever but it's not gonna stop me from going to the movie theater okay cause my thing is when it's your time to go is your time to go you could be sitting in your house like there was a lady here in maryland she was sitting in her house with her two kids and a freaking plane crashed into her house like are you serious <laughs> you just minding your business and in your house and then a plane crashes into it like <laughs> you didn't even have to go outside to die <laughs> you're just in your house so i mean if it's gonna happen it's gonna happen there's nothing you can do it's you know whatever when your little sands of time run out on your thing there you go that's it so, anywho, I'm going to jump off because I still have some work to do, and it's 526. Ah! So, yeah, I have a few more things I need to get done today. Yeah, well, that's good. Good, good, good. So, yes, I hope to see y'all a little bit later. I might scope later. I don't know. It feels like if the mood hits me. <laughs> um, thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you're following me. If, if you're not, yes, it's all good. <laughs> I love sharing information with people. I am an information sharer. So I love things. I love being able to share information that helps other people. So yeah, I, I mean, that's what I do. <laughs> So anyways, thanks so much for joining me, and if you're not following me, like I said, I hope you are, and you can follow me on here. It's great to see you, too, and you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram or Pinterest. I love Pinterest. Um, or join my email list on karaallen.com. See you later. Ciao, ciao.